What's up? It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness. It's time to do it with Hewitt. Welcome back to another episode in my Road to Rip series. Today I'm going to be going to a muscle activation techniques appointment. I've been having a little bit of achiness in my left shoulder, so I'm going to go get that worked on and fixed up. Uh, MAT or muscle activation techniques has been the, the main therapy or corrective exercise modality that I've been using for years. And I was actually just recently certified as an MAT Jumpstart Practitioner. So I've been using this technique with my clients as well. Uh, and it's really an incredible modality where they assess for muscular weakness and imbalance and correct that using palpation or isometrics. And I really feel that this approach addresses the root problem as opposed to the symptoms because muscle tension or tightness is really secondary to muscle weakness. So we want to address that, uh, that, that weakness or imbalance and the tightness and tension is relieved by that. So let's head inside. Ian is going to be working on me today. It's, uh, we're at Core Muscle Activation here in Toronto. Uh, these guys are incredible. I'll catch you on the inside. Right, we're heading into core muscle activation. They're running a jump start course today, a program I was recently certified in. And Ian was gracious enough to uh, see me on short notice with my contest just a couple of weeks away. I want to make sure I get things all balanced up and ready to go. All right, so here's a new group of students taking the jump start program here at core muscle activation in Toronto. There's Eric, instructor. <laughs> Amazing guy to learn from. Definitely recommend this course. Good luck, guys. Have fun. The neck stuff looks great. Okay. When you're seated with gravity, though, there's a little bit of it's a little funky. When you're down here on the table, no gravity. It's good. A um, couple little things. It doesn't look too bad. This little shift in the pelvis is setting off a whole bunch of this stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to check this hip. <clears throat> it actually opened up a little bit, but we're going to check it out. You've got um, a bit of scapular stuff here, like you know that forward flexion stuff. So your shoulder blade is not just in the right spot. So you're actually trying to orchestrate and how to maybe like low trap or serratus or something. Like something that. probably a combo of a bunch of those guys. The big one that's setting off your elbow, you've got zero supination. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the whole bicep and supination stuff is is kind of jack, which mm -hmm. is going to put a lot of tension in there. Yeah. That's going to you know bugger this all up here. So gluteus medius, posterior fibers. Okay. Uh, if you're okay lying on your right side facing that way, face the camera. Okay. Now, Ian so used some active range of motion oh. testing to see where my range of motion is off, uh, left related to right side and front to back. Uh, and then uh, that led him to follow up with some joint positional muscle testing just to see um, if I can hold the contractions in the shortened position. What he's basically looking at is, uh, am I in balance? He's not just focusing around where I'm experiencing my pain or tightness. He's looking at my body as a unit. Uh, and what it turned out is I actually was compensating for some weakness and instability in my uh, left hip and back, which was leading me to, to alter the way I carried my shoulder and affected my arm. So that's part of what's going on, definitely to get up into the shoulder as well. But looking at the body as a unit like this and focusing on where are the imbalances and weaknesses and getting the muscles firing the way they should and being able to contract fully uh, restoring range of motion actively as, as opposed to passively it just makes sense biomechanically and it's just been a huge asset to my training. So now Ian is working on me here using some uh, rigid insertion palpations, restoring function and range of motion, reducing pain. So that, you know, if you keep driving that car with the one loose tire, the tire's going to fly off, right? right? And if you tighten the tire, well, there we go. Now we can probably drive further. Yeah. Same thing here. If we get everything all working more efficiently without that wobble. So the session went really well today. I feel like I have a completely new arm and shoulder. If you're not familiar with muscle activation techniques, I strongly recommend you check it out. Uh, MuscleActivation.com or check out CoreMuscleActivation.com uh, if you're in the Toronto area. 
definitely worth looking into, especially if you're competing in like physique or bodybuilding. Being able to activate and contract those muscles properly and having proper muscle symmetry is very important for presentation on stage and of course for injury prevention and for performance, also very important. I'm also going to post a link to an article I wrote on muscle activation techniques. You can check that link out down below. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, like it, make sure you subscribe and until next time, stay strong.